PvP, think uh, basically StarCraft versus chess. I'm starting a game here. Uh, for the next couple hours, I'll be just playing games against a few people in the Discord. So if you want to play, then join the Discord or... Uh, yeah, that's it. There's no or. Hang on, I think I screwed that up. So I'm choosing my first team. I like the humans. I think they're just the simplest. And I'm going to be playing a lot of games at once today, so uh, I need to pick a team I can go fast with. Okay. This is just going to be, the first few minutes is just going to be a lot of setup, because no one's joined any games yet. Uh, I'm going to set up probably five or six games, and then start broadcasting the IDs. Actually, if anyone watching the stream wants to join, you can just see the IDs here and feel free to jump in. Oh, by the way, I added a thing so that in, after we like release again, you'll be able to just click the ID and it'll like copy it to your clipboard. Oh yeah, that's sweet. That's a great feature. The other voice you hear is Jan. He is uh, the other main developer on this game. Is this stream working? I need to make sure. Also, theoretically, there might be a chat that I need to monitor, so. Okay, cool. It looks like it's working. And let me make sure the visibility is right. Make sure it's public. Okay, we're good. Okay, I've set up game two. So you can see there's uh, six different potential layouts here. We have Anchorage Station and the Icarus are the like broader map outline. And then within each map, you have three layouts. So I'm gonna try this one. Oh, wait a minute. This might've been a public game. Okay, someone random might join this, that's fine. Totally fine. It'll be me. Oh, what's up, Kip? What's up? Uh, let me Zero games of it, let, mind. Let me get you started on one or both of these two. Can you see the, the game IDs in the stream? Uh, probably in the chat, right? Uh, it's on the screen right now. Let me post them in the Discord. I I don't think you're streaming. I don't see any any stream to join. Did you click the link? In is the... it a Steam stream or is it a? It's a Steam Discord stream. stream. It's a Steam stream. Oh, so okay. We're just using this for the audio. But actually, it would be good if you can make sure the Steam stream is actually working. I'm I'm clicking on it now. Because I'm pretty sure it's working, but. Gotta make sure. The link doesn't want to take me anywhere. It doesn't Maybe. go anywhere? Oh, it might be... Oh, it is. It's just... I have two monitors, and I'm trying to do... make sure this process at work is still running. <laughs> well, so They thanks. overlap my monitors. Thanks for joining us. Let me move it over. Work and, and joining us today. So. I don't know. Or not really blowing off work per se. I just have a long job that's waiting to run. Oh, I should, should be done soon though. I should tweet about this real quick. <laughs> hey, Munchkin is here. What's up, Munchkin? Uh, actually, Munchkin, I sent you an email. If you want to join the audio, you don't have to. But if you if you would like to, Munchkin is the guy who made the soundtrack for this song, or for this game. He made the song for this game. I really need, like, a social media manager. Just bear with us for a second while I sit here and do nothing. Hey, Vertiberto. 
Well, welcome. So, Vertiberto, uh, Pinus Alba, in the chat, is the guy who made the spaceships. So, uh, we had someone else do the backgrounds and the sprites, which we already had, but uh, Vertiberto did the super awesome rotating Taurus in this background, and then the Icarus in the other one. You know what? Screw it. I don't have time to tweet about this right now. Yeah, don't worry about it, Munchkin. Oh, yeah, no, no stress. If anyone, if you have nice things to say about the soundtrack, which actually I've had, I've had several compliments about the soundtrack from. Uh, we did a a thing with Rami Ismail. Uh, I don't know if you know him. He's an indie, prominent indie developer. He said one of the things he liked best about the game was the soundtrack. So that's a big compliment. I think it's I think it's great. Uh, Vertiberto, you may also I was mentioning this to Muchkin. If you like, then I just sent you an email with some info, and you can join the. Uh, the audio for this stream. He did indeed. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I played and I don't remember what all these... Whoa, whoa, why are... Oh, those are the ones I'm selecting. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna kick your trash today, Kip. I just feel it. I think you destroyed me the last couple times we played, but... I'm feeling well. There, there was one game that was kind of a standoff, like a tie. <laughs> I actually edited that map. Uh, it's not one of the ones that you're joining, but uh, I, I have the revised version of that map up. I was hoping we'd see Norma today, but I don't think she'll be joining. She's the one who did the backgrounds. Uh, you probably have seen her work on Twitter. She's quite prominent on Twitter. And, uh, yeah. Those those three are kind of the main people who've worked on this besides me and Jan. I'm going to try this layout. This one's a little gimmicky, the second Anchorage Station layout. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go, but let's try it. Hey, Nanostorm, what's up? Uh, Vertiberto, no worries. You're without Mike. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, Nanostorm, if you want to play, then you should join the uh, the streaming channel in Discord. That would be super cool. I'm pretty sure I actually played this map against Nanostorm last time. And it was it was a mixed bag for sure. All right, am I doing both these game keys? Am I playing two games with you? Yeah, if you're up for it. And then I'll broadcast two more for Nanostorm. Uh, what do we got? 5546C8. B414B1. Shows the exact same loadout for both of them, Lincoln. Come on, man. <laughs> we'll make it interesting. Yeah, sorry. Okay, a couple of chats I got to catch up on. So the green ship is animated. Yes, we I think had some issues not animating it in the past, but it, it does have some sweet animations. Uh, we fixed that. Nanostorm, is it cool if I just hang out? I have a lot of work to get done. Yes, that is totally cool. Uh, I will edit this message in Discord for. Uh, I think his name is Magic, Matt. Cool. I've got five games here. Oh, thanks for tweeting that for me, Munchkin. I was, I'm trying to do too many things at once. I appreciate that. Oh, that was fortunate. One thing I love, this is, I don't know if anyone else cares about this, but one thing, one of my favorite things is that you can change the background and the color. I just think that's so cool. It's like, 
so inconsequential to the gameplay, but I'm really glad we're able to do that. Let's do an oil loadout. I don't know how this is going to go. Except I feel like this is like my third game with the antivirus, so... I'm not that great with him. I just wanted to update like two followers. Of my <laughs> it's about how many followers we have, so. Thanks, Magic. Appreciate it. Actually, when I was doing these ships, I was worried they'll fall out of place with the background. Yeah, that was one thing we were thinking about, you know, combining the work of two different artists, I think, is risky. I imagine it would be risky, but it, it has worked really well, in my opinion, for... Okay, sweet, my game's against Kip already. It, it's worked really well with, with uh, between Vertiburto and uh, Norma. I've been, really, I've been really pleased with how it looks. Remember the first one I did? I do remember that. That, uh, that one's pretty good, actually. Um, we just wanted to get, like, more of a vibe from the background, and... Uh, Norma's work has just always really impressed us, so we were, like, really excited to have a chance to work with her, too. But, uh, yeah. No, don't feel bad about that one or anything. It was, it was still good. Worried about your Scion here, Kip. You guys done any consideration into the balance between going first and not going first? That's at still, all. That's still kind of uh, in uh, in onlowing and excuse me ongoing point of discussion. I've heard from a few people a few different ways. Like uh, I think uh, Nanostorm and this matched my feeling. Uh, wow, it is really hard to talk and play at the same time. <laughs> Uh, you're probably gonna win, Kip, because I'm very distracted. Uh, is it's it's like a trade-off between. Uh, it just feels naturally like the first person to go almost always has the advantage, because you get to make your moves first. But in this game, if you are really familiar with the loadouts and the characters and stuff, then uh, then you can counter really like pretty like devastatingly effectively. I think. So it's it's an even split from the feedback I've heard so far. I did not know acid only lasted one turn. Yep. It's too dangerous. It's kind of like it, it if you think about it, it's the same as like the uh the oil being on fire. It does the same amount of damage when you walk through it, I think. Wait, that might not be right. Munchkin, they work surprisingly well. Uh, that was about the art styles. Yes, yeah. If, if anyone has feedback on that, by the way, uh, the man himself is in the stream. Bertoberto's in the stream, so... Or not the stream, but in the chat. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it's great. Um, I'm a little nervous about my game against Magic slash Matt because I did not know this, but apparently he is a highly rated chess player. And StarCraft player, so he's probably gonna destroy me. It's cool how you can combine different tactics. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's definitely. We're trying to go for gameplay here that feels emergent, that feels like you theoretically have infinite combinations. So hopefully that. Works out. By the way, Matt, I don't know if I've maybe I've already said this. <laughs> I know I have to live up to the hype. Yeah, yes, you do. I'm just trying to make my safe face if I if I get destroyed. Uh, if 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 you want to join the audio, Matt, you don't have to. But uh, if if you would like, then uh, 
I wonder what's going to happen here. Then just join the Bernard Star streaming channel in uh, Discord. Let's see what happens. Boom. You done did protected yourself. I did. Not sure exactly what you're talking about, but yes, I did. Yeah, you can't see what I'm looking at, so. <laughs> That's not at all what I intended. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? So, is it should I call you Matt or Magic? I can't decide. My mic not transmitting. I can hear you now. That was a bad turn. You you you're gonna you're gonna do great against me in that match, Lincoln. Or Sweet. or. Chelsea yeah. fly. You just call me Lincoln. Sniper can have multiple attacks? I probably had to kill somebody what? to get a second attack, right? Yeah, you did, but it's insane. Okay, there's two games that I'm still waiting for players on. Uh, I'm posting the codes in the Discord, or um, or you can just see them on my screen right now. It's those last two. 81BA79 365CAF Okay, we got some chat to catch up on. Gameplay is pretty fast, actually. I love that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the hard thing because, you know, chess is really fun, but uh, Sometimes it just takes so long. That was always what turned me off to it. So we tried to make this kind of a faster paced version of that. Uh, Spages, best wishes from Stardia Step Team. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, you were in our our Discord pretty recently. I, I think uh, Stardius looks pretty sweet. So if anyone, if you want to drop some, a link to your game or something, Spages, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but then uh, yeah, everyone should check that out. Aren't you getting extra move when you kill somebody? Yep. Yep. So, I'm about to kill Kip here. <laughs> Perfect demo right here. I kill him. Boom, I get an extra move. Uh, and I might be able to kill another dude. Yep. So, I'm about to get another move. Except I'm going to get hit. Alright, it's worth it. How did that hit my base? Uh, we have a, we added a lifelink since you last played. So, if you kill somebody, it does one damage to the base. Well, that would have been amazing to know. <laughs> it was... <laughs> okay, it was, I, I should play this game more than I actually do, so... <laughs> I That was directly inspired from our game that just dragged on forever and ever and ever. Because we just kept killing each other's units, but making zero progress against... Uh, the base. Hey, uh... Man, yeah, you're gonna destroy me in these two games. Nice. Awesome. Uh, Matt, is your microphone working? Are you still trying to get that working? Uh, yeah, is it working out right now? Yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. Just had a couple settings to get changed. Cool, cool. Okay, I think I can... Oh. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, Kip, I don't know if you are aware of this, but I have this Bouncer's Knockout Punch that I can insta-kill. You have five health and two shields, I still insta-kill you by pushing you in the wall. Or in the, in the hole, so. Be on the lookout for that. Oh, because you get another turn every time after you kill somebody. I, that was a, a, a different thing as well. Oh, is that new since That I did not take into account. Yeah. Okay, well I just squandered that charge. I forgot that charge does not damage the Nexus. Dang it. Alright, whatever. Uh, should I call you Matt or Magic? Which do you prefer? Uh, Matt is just fine. Okay, sweet. How much move does this guy have? Five move? That's a lot. Alright, 
just go for it. Wait, I should not have done that. You're just gonna kill me and get the extra move. Lincoln, your mic is pretty quiet compared to everyone else. Oh, let me get closer. Hello, how about that? I just bought a new bike from a, mi a new, not a bike. I bought a new mic from Best Buy about an hour ago. I'll put it a little closer to my face. Okay. Don't want to spam your stream. Had a question though. Is there an AI enemies here or is it strictly PvP? It is. Uh, we have both. So I think PvP is more fun personally, but you can do a quick play versus AI here. Easy, medium, or hard. Uh, Jan is not in the stream right now. He might be later. He coded the AI, so he can tell you all about that. But uh, I would say our main focus is going to be the multiplayer. Also a suggestion, if someone who is watching who is not familiar with the gameplay, some commentary on what you're doing and why would be nice. Oh yeah, I should be doing that. <laughs> Suddenly the game reminds me of Original Sin 2. I don't actually know that game. I've never played it. I'm not well versed. Okay, so let me explain what I'm doing in this turn. Um, so I am the Critters. I've got the Grump, the Gunslinger, the Scion, and the Bounty Hunter. I'm playing against Matt's Overwatch, Exterminator, uh, Antivirus, and, da and uh, Damon. So there's a lot of forces at play here. I move around and I do an attack every turn. Um, but so... And I can go through these teleporters. I'm not going to go through this one, I think, because his uh, his Overwatch has a ready attack, where if I go through, it'll just it'll just hit me pretty bad. And you can see in my flashing HP that it'll do three damage. So I'm probably going to not do that. Um, I also got to be careful because the Exterminator has a lot of movement. So if I move my Grump around here, then he's going to get, like, wasted uh, if I'm not careful. So I think I'll just... Go in a defensive position there. Um, here I'm just going to attack the base. That's the point of this game, after all, so... I think I'm going to do that here, too. Because I'm pretty sure I'm about to get murdered. Fun fact about the teleporters, you can't actually block a teleporter. Although I did end up on the wrong side of this, so this wasn't my best move. Um... Shoot. All right, we'll just blast that. The Scion can move after he shoots, so I'm going to take another move. And that is my turn. Oh, boy. All right, I got some catching up to do. Hundred fifty nine viewers. Uh oh. That's 164 now. Oh, boy. Divinity Original Sin 2. Oh, uh, I actually think I have heard of that. I don't know if I've played it, though. I think Jan's probably played that one. Maybe he can talk about it. Not that old school. All right, let's do this. I can kill that guy. Boom. Go through the teleporter. And I think I can kill that guy. Oh, Kip, suck it. You are going to die. Yeah, you just died. I love that. I love that death animation. It's so over the top. I love how you made possible playing multiple games turn by turn. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know if we've really guided the players into that as effectively as we could. Um, but the ideal way to play this game is probably to have like, you know, you can have up to 10 games. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to win this real quick and uh you play a little bit you play for maybe half an hour by playing your turn in all these different games and then you just come back later and uh and if you're me you just annihilate kip over and over okay kip are you still there i think kip's gone he's afk Sorry, I think I heard you calling for me. I, I had to step away for uh, a call. 
Oh, it's okay. I was just trash talking you mostly. Yeah, it's it's a much different game, and I was still playing to the old style. I was not <laughs> expecting the whole kill a unit, kill the base thing, and then the extra turns. That was that's a huge difference in yeah. strategy as well. Yep, small changes make a very big difference in these yeah. kind of games. Really makes me feel like uh, Gears Tactics, where they had a, a very similar idea with the extra moves after a kill. Oh, really? It reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. I am not familiar with that game either. I'm uh, pretty uncultured when it comes to the mass media. Okay, sweet. I can't do this. So, Matt, I have heard that you are a highly ranked you know, super, super player, but yeah, give, sure. Give me an idea <laughs> we'll of, your, of your of your of your credentials. You're highly ranked in chess, like chess.com or something else. Yeah, just chess.com. Um, I mean, it's not really high rank. It's like twelve hundred something. So it's not like nothing too crazy. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred out of what? Uh, I think grandmasters like three thousand, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the one cool thing is uh, with, like, a, a little while ago when um, Nanostorm and I were playing StarCraft, we did um, Archon, which was, like, a you two people play the same uh, setup, same team. So it's not, like, two separate teams. It's just one um, team, and we're both operating the same units. So it was like a special mode, not the normal 1v1s. And we got like, I want to say like top 10 of anybody. Dang. So that, that was the really cool bit. I really like doing that. Archon, is that, is it co-op? Yes. Yes, exactly. Nice. Uh, by the way, did everyone just hear a ping just now from my iMessage? I, I did not. I'm a little worried. Not. I need to turn off notifications. There's a very busy iMessage group. Let me figure out how to, how to turn off notifications really quick. Okay, that's fixed. Okay, I'm starting a new game. I'm still waiting for players on two of the games. Anyone watching the stream can join these. Uh, I will post them in the in the chat super quick. And I'm starting another one. Spay just asks, can you have custom loadouts, mixed units from different groups? I have thought about that. I think that makes balance, like, it turns it from a hard problem into a completely impossible problem. So we may not... But I guess I'm open to the idea. I, I think there could be a game mode that allows it. That could be pretty fun. Two players with one base. Oh, you're talking about Archon. Okay. Vertiberto, what is with the third ship? Jan says, we haven't added it yet, but we will. We, we are definitely planning on that. We uh, sort of went into hustle mode the last... Why do I only have two units? I need to rewatch this turn. I'm getting my butt handed to me. Okay, yeah, that didn't go well. This is good. I'm, uh, you know, I'm defeating Kip pretty handily, and then I'm getting destroyed by Matt. So well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you can't, you can't say you're annihilating <laughs> me when I didn't know the rules of the game here, Lincoln. All right, all right. All right. Why don't we play another game? <laughs> hey, I could probably do one more. I'll start it. Show you what it's like going second. <laughs> and then if you do beat me, then then you can say. Okay, I actually stand a chance here because I'm going straight for the base, even though I'm kind of on a suicide mission. Uh, why don't I move far away? Okay, my prospects are not horrible. 
Okay, so let me get these game IDs in the chat. You could assign value to each type of unit and have some limit on how much value you can have in your team. Oh, that's true. That's true. That would involve ranking uh, each unit, though, which uh, is really hard to do without multiple dimensions because some units are only good when they're with other units. Some units are really good by themselves. Uh, probably a few units are kind of OP, but that's all right. Still figuring out all that. <laughs> Sorry if you heard that. <laughs> we did. We all did. <laughs> Tried to move my mic away from my face, but it didn't work, I guess. It's okay. We're all in this together. Is there some sort of log of events? If you return to your game after a while, it would be nice to be able to review what happened a while ago. That would be really nice. We do have that data, like we could implement that. Um, definitely something we'll consider for the next revamp that we're gonna do. We're kind of, um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. Oh yeah, we're kind of just waiting on the feedback from the Steam Festival, see how this goes, and um, before we before we make any strong decisions. But that that would be something that's really good. We also want to add at some point uh, a, like uh, the ability to watch other people's games. Am I getting killed? So you know, if you've ever played like Clash Royale, this is where I got the idea. But basically. You can just watch, there's like, you know, TV Royale or whatever, where you can watch um, popular games. I, I don't know if it's curated or what, but just the most interesting games that have happened in the last day or the last week or something, you can watch them. Uh, that's something we want to add at some point. Okay, I got my game ID from Kip. You should have shot his base instead. Yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I may not be doing so hot. Um, this is my first time streaming, and I'm not used to multitasking. Just ask my wife; she'll tell you I am terrible at multitasking. Okay, let's pick a unit here. We're on a big map. Kip has chosen the humans. Oh, this is like the. Just to show you how OP they are. <laughs> Maybe I'll fight fire with fire. There's the bouncer, commando, bazooka man, and sniper. I actually really like this loadout. That's that's a really strong loadout. Uh, okay, let me think. So if I do water, I can I can stop you in your tracks. But if I do oil, maybe I'll try oil. I haven't done an oil build. Wait a minute. I do have an oil build. I think I've been ignoring it. Let's do, let's do acid. Okay, so your bouncer has how much movement? One, two, three, four, five, I'm pretty sure. Let me do something about that. Okay, yeah, I see how this is hard. <laughs> Joining second. <laughs> Yeah, this is hard. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just doing some random stuff. Streaming and playing is much more difficult than just playing. Yes, it's uh, it's very. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. That turn probably sucked. I had no theory for that turn. All right, Matt. My play here is if he doesn't kill my Scion, which he just did, shoot, all right. <laughs> if he hadn't killed my Scion, I could have just shot the base in one, but now I am super hosed. 
His base only has one health, so that should mean if I just kill one guy, I'm in the clear. And the minion's easy. But killing one guy. Killing one guy. I don't even know if I can do that, though. This may not go well. Okay. I, at the risk of giving away my strategy, which I am doing, what I, I really want to use the Bounty Hunter to use the hook and pull one of his units into the hole in the center. That would be sweet. Oh, gosh, I don't know what to do. I hate the Exterminator because the Exterminator has this Reflect Projectiles... Which basically means if I shoot him, it's just going to bounce back and hit me instead. And that is in a special effect that lasts, that happens once every two turns, so. Uh, I don't know what to do. Alright, screw it. I'll just take the hit. No, I can't do that. No, I can't. How about to do it with this guy? Oh. I guess the shotgun cannot shoot over cover. Normally you can shoot over cover, but uh, I forgot the shotgun can't, so. All right, that's probably not gonna go very well. I gotta go to sleep, thanks for streaming. Hey, thanks for thanks for stopping by, Munchkin. Uh, really appreciate uh, everything you've done for the game. Munchkin is the uh, musician for this game, so this sweet background music you hear, you did that. Uh, I think it's I think it's awesome. Um, so yeah, check out his stuff. Muchkin on Twitter and other places. Uh, Nanostorm. Is there a possibility of live games in the future? I think that would be super cool. Jan has already answered that. We need a lot of players online. It would be awesome if we got to that point. Yeah, that would be sweet. The hardest thing about making a multiplayer game is you have to bootstrap the community, which is not easy. We really like multiplayer games, but we wanted to... Okay, well, that was unfair. We wanted to uh, do a, an asynchronous style game so that we wouldn't have to have, you know, like a thousand concurrent players for it to work. Um, make that slightly easier for us. Put in fake players that... Nothing apart from your voice is audible. Hang on. You can't hear your game in the in the stream. All right. Well, that is lame. This whole time, I think. I know also, so Discord isn't picking up your game because you're not streaming via Discord. It might work if you simultaneously streamed on Discord as well, but I don't know if. I was thinking about doing that. My computer, I don't know how the... my computer, my computer cannot handle that. My, I tried it. Even just, maybe it's just. Uh... By the way, can you hear it now? I don't know. I've got audio going, so I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can try muting my game my to see if I can tell, but he can hear the game now. Okay, sweet. Yeah, uh, that's. Uh, I'm. I'm bummed. I have to do this extra step on Mac using Soundflower that I forgot about so. yeah no when I in the past when I've played uh, what's my cooldown here one when I've played and streamed on discord at the same time even though my Mac is plugged in it literally still is constantly very slowly losing battery uh, so I think it would just melt Does your other computer not work? Hey, music kicked in. Yeah, I did. Um, you mean my PC? Yeah. I just don't have a setup. <laughs> okay. I feel like I was doing really good the first half hour, and now I'm kind of, kind of <laughs> sucking right now. It, it's when Matt joined. That's when I started sucking. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm just... I'm really distracted. Okay. All right, let's assess this situation. He's got all four units. I have four. This guy's gonna die, for sure. Whatever I do. Uh, can 
I shoot his base? No, because he's in the way. I can destroy cover, but that's pretty much useless. And if I destroy that cover, then the sniper's ready attack will kill me. I guess I'll just... can't really do much. Oh, I'll do that. That's probably the best thing to do. Um... That's unfortunate. I want to trigger the ready attack. I don't think I can. The exterminator I feel pretty good about because he's got the reflect projectiles thing. Okay, let's see how that goes. So the way cover is supposed to work for anyone tuning in now is you're supposed to be able to shoot over it with most weapons, although like we saw with the shotgun, that can't. And but when you're it only does anything if you're immediately behind it so it's like i'm hiding behind this bed right here if there were someone say where this cone is right here trying to shoot me they wouldn't be able to shoot me because i'm hiding behind the cover but if i were back one square they would be able to shoot me so you can shoot over the cover but it's just that when you're right by it it's like you're hiding underneath it. Dirtiness. By the way, guys, want to exchange DMPs? I'll give you some dead feedback for this. You give me some for Star Yes. Yeah, totally. Yeah, hit us up in the in the Discord, Spagus. By the way, I'm probably butchering your username. <laughs> I just think Spagus sounds cool. Okay. I'll play against Kip. Alright. Yeah, I'm getting destroyed. So Kip did a cool move here with the bouncer. The knockout punch is sweet because it pushes the enemy back and stuns them one space. So that's a super cool move. Okay. Two damage, two damage. I don't think I can kill anybody with this combo here. Uh, because the Psy Blast only does 2 damage, and the Blobber only does 2 damage with both of his attacks, so that kind of sucks. But, I can be really annoying and rain acid everywhere. <laughs> if I can't defeat him, at least I can piss him off. Okay, we're gonna call that good. Two hundred viewers, and no one wants to join my game. I, if I move anywhere in that acid, I die, right? Yes. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. You you killed that guy. <laughs> Basically. Well, you can just sit there. We probably should have it so that uh, acid. Okay, I'm getting destroyed. I thought that would have done it too. If you just sit there, then you're. Oh no. Okay, I'm dead. But then your your next guy will kill me anyway. I'd rather take away the turn from you than. This is pretty clever here. So I know in chess there's a concept of like trapping a unit because if you move it, the guy behind him will be hurt. What Matt has done here is really clever where if I move my Scion, my Grump will get shot by the ready attack from the Overwatch. So one of my guys is toast no matter what I do. And this is probably a bug, but when I if I move the Grump, then the Scion will get shot by the Overwatch. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to lose anyway. Might as well go out in a blaze of glory. Oh, dang it. I did not take that into account. Oh, there we go. I forget about that whole lifelink thing. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. I was doing so good in that game. But it's over. Eighteen viewers left because I guilted them. 
That's okay. I thought you said there was 200, and now there's 209, so I don't know what you're talking about. Mine says 195. Is Steam just oh. making up random numbers? <laughs> it was at 200 before, so I don't think so. Mine, I mean, I know that your audio is delayed from your voice, but I don't know if that's like a Discord thing or a... Uh, um, you mean my, like between the stream and the... Yeah. Like yeah, your face is completely still right now. It's... And then your your mouth will start moving in like two seconds, I think. So I'm using OBS to like stream this. Oh my gosh. This is just embarrassing. Uh, and Streamlabs I... usually isn't that bad, though. Streamlabs? Was that the OBS you're using? I have no idea. I don't know anything about this stuff. No. Uh, and it gave me... My point is it gave me an option to configure how much the delay would be. I set it at six seconds. That was the default. So there's going to be at least oh. a six-second delay between my gameplay and the Steam live stream. Okay, this is even set funny. can't live? I'm getting so friggin'... No, you can't set it to be live. There has to be some buffering. I don't know why, but for some reason. Interesting. Could be wrong about that, but I'm like 90, 90% sure. Okay. All right. Wait, I just died. <laughs> I don't know. I was getting all excited. I knew I was going to lose that game. Okay, let's see. Also, strange thing I noticed, um, I don't know if this is the time to bring it up, but with the daemon, um, at least in the AI games, when it got to three of the mini units, the third one um, couldn't assign actions to it. It couldn't do anything? Right. Like, it would be able to spawn, but then, like, try to give it movement or an action, and it uh, wouldn't do anything. Okay, so the third uh, minion had no actions? Mm. Right. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, like, load tested that. I think... Because, um, theoretically, I, it would be interesting to try this to literally see if you could get, like, 50 to 100 minions. Like, a minion on every single square just that would take right. forever but like our, we sh we need to be able to handle that corner case even if it's not like something a sane person would do that was one of the funny things because uh, i remember when i was looking at just the wiki i didn't have access to the game yet um i one of the rules that i didn't know was, existed was that you could only have one of each type of unit so like one of my first thoughts was hey why don't i just have a team of only demons <sighs> <laughs> and then just spam those everywhere and that'd be totally broken but that would be pretty awesome it seemed pretty cool that would be something like i think it would be cool to just you know for like ranked multiplayer we want it to be fair but if you're just playing a fun game either versus ai or versus a friend locally uh it would be cool to just be able to customize all that stuff to be able to have like someone else was mentioning Units from different factions, um, multiple units, multiple of the same units, uh, some kind of a map editor would be extra cool. All right, good games, Lincoln. I gotta hop back to work. All right, thanks for joining us, Skip. Appreciate it. Oh, no problemo. Nice to meet everyone. I don't know if the stream can hear me, but nice to meet everyone in the stream. So. Yep, stream, Bye. stream can hear you. All right, see ya. Thanks for playing. Okay, about this telling the player to play multiple games thing, when you're showing waiting for opponent's turn, that's a spot you want to suggest running concurrent games. That's true. Maybe a short list of current games where you could see if one of the games had a turn pending would be awesome. Yeah, we uh, we got to think about the UI. That's kind of a challenging problem, but it would be cool to have, like, if you had another game ready, in the top left it'd be like, turn ready, switch to whatever game against another guy. That would be cool. That's a good idea. Map editor, yes. <laughs> Talk to Jan about that one. He's talked about it. Uh, he's super excited about it, too. That would be awesome. Except, I don't know if... This is just a brief rant. I don't know if anyone's played uh, Brawl Stars. Uh, but it, in Brawl Stars, I play that game a little bit. They have competition entry maps. And a lot of the maps 
they're submitted by users, I'm pretty sure. I don't know the details, but a lot of the maps just are just genuinely horrible. But, <laughs> and not fun to play on. So we might not want to have maps that people... We want to curate the maps a little bit that, you know, go out to the, to the public, but... Uh, but, theoretically, you should be able to make, like, the most broken, you know, crazy map on your own build and be able to play it. That would be sweet. Randomized map, procedurally generated maps. Yeah, Jinx in the chat there. Uh, yeah, I think some of the AI versus AI maps, I think are slightly procedurally generated. Like we have procedurally generated cover. Um, okay, sweet, I'm gonna kill that guy. Um, but the map itself is a little bit tricky because we're with, we're, if we want to have these pretty battle station backgrounds, we are constrained by certain a certain outline. So that's one thing to consider. You can only procedurally change what's within that outline. We did have a thought once. I don't. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but one one thing we have thought would be super cool is uh, to have. A, kind of a modular design where we have like the left half of this and then the middle of this It's kind of like that game That you play with with people where it's like uh, Someone draws the top of the monster and then you fold the paper over and then someone draws the bot the body of the of the monster And then you fold the paper over and then someone draws the legs something like that could work and still have like the the nice battle station outline Stitch maps from strategic components by mixing and matching predefined pieces of the puzzle. You put it much better than I did. That is basically the idea. An idea for the future, that's for sure. A lot of ideas for the future. How do you think you're going to be able to um, make that fit? Since I know that all the maps, or at least that I've seen, are all symmetrical. How do you think that getting uh, that to work with an asymmetric map is going to keep it even for everybody yeah that's another challenge because we we definitely want any maps that people actually play competitively to be symmetrical because there's always going to be the like the concept of unfairness or something if they're not I, I i mean i guess theoretically an asymmetric map could work if we determine that like the first pl the player to go first has a certain advantage um and so we could use an asymmetrical map to counter that. But no, you're right. It's just one more thing to think about. One more, one more uh, constraint on the design. Okay, if you're just joining us, that this is Bernard Star. This is an online PvP strategic turn-based strategy game. I am one of the developers. Jan is the other developer. He's not on stream right now. He might join us later. This is sort of like chess and StarCraft combined together into a... Uh, it's more like chess than StarCraft, though, just thematically it kind of feels... We've got three different factions, you know, humans, robots, aliens. Is this where I die? Good game. Good game, Matt. Oh, yeah, good games. You handily defeated me in both games. Robot ship is twitching. Is that because the damage it suffered? Yes. When it gets to a certain level of damage, it will twitch. Cool. Uh, Matt, if you're up for another game, we can play. Or if you are done, we can sign off and I'll just play some games versus AI for the remainder of the stream. Uh, yeah, I can do one more. Um, do you see the the codes in the Discord? Um, yeah. Let me. Either of those two in the there. in the Bernard Star channel are available. There we go. Yeah. I was mm. worried. Thought I messed up a sprite. Nope. Nope. We uh, we added that a little bit of a little bit of twitching.
it's always really interesting with one of the main decisions I've seen being whether or not to go for the Nexus or go for the units. And that's just such a hard strategy to figure out in the middle of it. Yeah, there's definitely, like, you saw me do the suicide strategy where I basically just said, you know, screw the units, I'm just going straight for the Nexus every time. And... I got really close. I got your net, your base down to one health with before receiving any damage on my base, or maybe I had one damage on my base, and then all my units were dead. So you just went and like cleaned up. Right, because it was that like snowball effect where once there was a uneven enough amount of units that it's just no matter what you had, I could just immediately kill things. Yep. Yep. Well, yeah, hmm. and if my units are like damaged or close to death. If I have a bunch of units placed in certain places around the map, then you can just kill one, get another turn, boom. Kill another, get another turn, boom. Kill another. And uh, if I'm not careful about managing the locations of them, then you can basically get all the way to the Nexus in one turn and, and just start doing yeah. a bunch of damage. Yeah. It's really interesting. Um, one of the things that I know, since going back to Gears Tactics, I, I know you don't have any experience with that one, but they had that situation where you could keep taking extra turns after a kill and one of the ways they help like alleviate that snowball is um with the overwatch ability so perhaps with the sniper if they walk into the shot it disrupts and doesn't let them take their next turn because it had like a pseudo stun effect whenever a unit took a shot on their turn oh so every time that you walk into a ready attack it would, it would stop their turn. It would end the turn? Okay. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, that, that would definitely be one way to counter, to counter that. That's interesting. Yeah. Especially if you guys put in more um, units and things like that. There'd be more than one, obviously, with the Overwatch effect. Yeah. Yeah. You are right. Um... Okay, a couple ideas from the chat. Have you thought of the various environment hazards, like exploding stuff, destroying tiles? Are, are you asking about, like, mo more different types of environment hazards? Because I think that could be cool, like... We've talked about... We've brainstormed all sorts of characters. One that could be cool is a guy who lays mines. Um, or maybe there could be mines in the map already. Or, like, uh, some kind of mine generator. I don't know if that's, like, a thing, but... Uh, we definitely could be could ha could add some more cool stuff there. I, I think the the problem is everything that we add has to be able to work well and balance well with every other thing. Uh, so we want to get to the point where we're like we have just the right amount of content that we can manage it with our small human sized brains, uh, but enough that it's like really interesting and and uh, innovative to play. Maybe some tile that activates something on the map. Yeah, I mean, we could go full Minecraft and have, like, a redstone character, right? That has, like, buttons and doors. Uh, that's probably never going to happen, though. That would be cool, though. One more idea. For single-player mode, you could have a roguelike kind of runs where you fight multiple enemies with increasing difficulty, possibly moving through some map like Slug Aspire. Yeah, we, we have thought about that. It's, um, it's definitely on the table. And we actually had a, a, an implementation of that in the in the game we had another button called campaign at some point but it we wanted to focus on the online multiplayer experience and we just have limited resources so to make a really good procedural run would be sweet but um might be might be out of scope we only have jan and i both have day jobs so this is just something we do you know for fun on the side All right, I'm going to do a quick... Bye. Oh, sorry, what? Sorry, just quick question. Um, with the um, order of the spawns of the four units, are they random, or is it, like, the order that you pick them? I don't know. I have no idea. Hmm. I think Jan knows that. You should ask him again Cause, like, when he gets on. It's, it's taking me a minute to do the turn because like, I'm trying to actually like test it out because my idea is that if I go critters and have a grunt, I can get a first attack off, perhaps on the first turn, 
But if the grunt is in the back, then the pathing, like the distance, doesn't work. Right. But if he's in the front, so I'm like trying to reload it to see if it changes. Uh, it's definitely deterministic. So I think if you reload it, it shouldn't change. If it does, that's like a pretty serious problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it seems to go in the same spot. Okay, good. Yeah, because the games, uh, you know, we when you're building a multiplayer game, you really can't trust the client. Uh, and so we need to be able to, like, consistently run the same turn over and over on the server. Um, and so the server is, is going to need to be able to take the same inputs and produce the same output every time. But that's right. like, I have no idea what the factor like what what determines the uh the spawn order spages quit quit my job for almost a year almost a year ago to work on my game best year of my life yeah that's uh i think if you have enough saved up and you know your lifestyle is able to support that that's like awesome Yeah, I think that's something I might like to do eventually. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. My my day job's pretty good, so I'm not, I'm not in a rush to quit. But depends on how uh, successful Burnout Star is. Okay, let's see. Uh, Matt, just tell me when you're done with your turn, by the way. I'm in a, I'm in an AI game that I can quit at any time. Uh, yeah, I just got my turn. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. This AI is actually super easy, so I might just win real quick. Is there, do you know if there's any, um, difference between the medium and hard other than the fifth unit? So I think that it has to do with the way the AI is coded. We have a decision tree that looks at every possible uh, move and ranks them and then picks basically the either the best move if it's on hard or the second best move if it's on medium or the third best move, if something like that. So I think it actually does affect which decisions they make. Hmm. But. Great to hang out with you guys. The game looks really solid. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. Thank you, Vertiberto slash Pinus Alba slash your real name that I probably shouldn't say on stream. Cheers. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining. I, I'm not sure when we're going to do this next, uh, but we would be... We'll definitely let you know. For anyone joining, uh, Pinus Alba slash Vertiberto. Man, it's really tripping me up, but that's not the same name. He did the the base stations here and the uh, like space station background, not the stars. We had someone else do the, the actual like stars in the background, but he did the spinning Taurus and the uh, the space station itself. Okay, so what do I got? This will be interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Ooh. Okay. We got ourselves a face-off. This nickname is Vertiberto. I'll be checking your Discord often. Yes, yes, please. Uh, Discord, let me just link the Discord in the chat for anyone who is interested in what we got going on here. We're not big enough to have a, a, a vanity link.
One cool thing that's kind of hidden is if you do a custom game and you make both the players AI, you can watch AI play against each other, so... Uh, that's what I'm doing now. I think it's kind of fun. I feel like a mad scientist. Except sometimes the AI does really random stuff. The bounty hunter just grabbed the blobber with the hook to give him a little extra movement. That's an interesting choice. Hmm. Oh, these turns are so hard. Trying to <laughs> just think of how this is going to work out. Is it? Is it too hard? Like, is there too much complexity? No. No, not at all. Um, you like it that way? Yeah, definitely. Like, of course, I'm weird where it's, you know harder the better but i guess that's starcraft me talking right because that's what we're going we like we want to make it just enough complexity that it's really interesting and really challenging but like not so much that you actually like drown in it you know right One weird thing about this AI game is sometimes the AI can't decide whether they should go for the Nexus or for the players. They they typically just go for any players that are available, so sometimes these games take a while to just watch watch them play out. Right. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be happy with uh Did you just destroy me? With this. I think so. This is replaying my turn. Kind of a clever way to line up these units. I should have should have thought it through a little more. Yeah, the problem is my units are also close together. I think he's just gonna just gonna knock them dead all at once. I'm scared to watch. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, just figuring out the right spots for the jumps, just so it would only hit one oh one gosh. kill each time to keep it chaining. That's incredible. That was beautiful to watch. It's is very painful, but uh, but quite amazing. I don't think I have any moves. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, all I can do is click end turn. You basically get two turns. <laughs> That was worth it, though, because seeing your grump uh, do that was pretty awesome. Just yeah. boom, boom. That area it's... effect is so strong. Four smashes in a row. Holy crap. I gotta record that. Put that into some kind of a trailer or something. Oh, uh, well, this game is pretty much over. That's okay. How sweet is this background, though? I really like the yellow and purple effect. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I really appreciate the art that went into this. It's pretty cool. And I can say that because I did none of it. 
Uh, what do you think of this map? Um, it's interesting. I would have th thought that there would have been, like, with the Nexus in the middle, Nexi, um, that it would have been a lot more, like, bloodthirsty. I mean, I guess it was bloodthirsty, but, like, a lot more of ignoring each other and just shooting straight forward. Right. And then it's just a matter of who can output damage faster, but I the teleporters make it interesting. I, I think I kind of shot myself in the foot right at the beginning by putting these cones here. I, I was thinking I would block you from coming that way and block off that whole path, but what I should have just done is, uh, you know, rushed, rushed the Nexus on this side. Um, that could have been a lot more powerful. Yeah. Because when you blocked it off, it meant that I didn't have to worry about any sort of backstab. Right. And so I could just go straight forward. Yeah. Let's see if I can pull off a recovery here. It's basically zero chance of that. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I think my play is to just dive the Nexus. Basically, all your guys have full health, too, so... Actually, I might have a play here. Because your guys are pretty vulnerable. Yeah. So I think I overextended on this. Let's, let's see. So, okay, so I'm gonna narrate my moves a little bit. I've got the robots, he's got the critters. I just killed one of his guys. Um, my reflect projectiles has a cooldown, so I need to be more careful with the exterminator now. Let's see. So this guy has two health, this guy has five health. I can kill both of them. This is two damage, this is three damage. So I'll just, and I think I want to extend this way if I can. Move my units closer to the teleporter so that when I get the extra move, I can just pop right in there. And I can hit that dude. There we go. Okay. So now I'm pushing this way. This guy's got five health, and most of my guys have Additional moves. Sweetness. Okay, this is actually going really well for me. Um, I just gotta be careful because at the beginning of this turn you had all four guys. Okay, so I just don't wanna make the same mistake that you just did and rush all my guys over here. Let's see if I can position them smartly. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. We just basically reset everything. Yeah, pretty much. I just basically did the same turn that, that you did a second ago. Okay, okay, this game is still interesting. Uh, question. Yeah. If on a turn I go through the teleporter and then just end the turn on the teleporter, if I want to go through it again, do I have to move off of it and then back on to activate it? Yes. Okay. So that's a little bit of a quirk. We, we may want to revisit that decision, but you only teleport when you move onto it. Right. If you guys ever consider doing a Russian translation, just call me. Yeah. No, I think it'd be fun to localize this game. We always wanted to localize our last game, Card Crusade, which was a roguelike deck building kind of game. Sorry, just distracted for a second. 
Um, but we never got around to it. And I think it's something we'd like to do with this with this game. Okay, so I'm going to go this way and try to push. Next turn, I'll get a little bit of damage done there. Three health on the base. So I have a diagonal shot here that might work. If I go there, I can do one, two, three. This might work. Nope. Nope, I can only shoot my own self. I don't want to do that. Okay, I gotta space my units better this time because I got annihilated last time. We call that good. Check how many downloads we got. That's pretty good. Looks like we are looking at uh, 580 downloads and 100 unique users who have played for a median time of five minutes. I get that medium time medium time played a lot higher, but that's okay. I wonder how they count it because clearly about 80% of the people, wait, 85% who have who have downloaded it have never opened it, which is interesting. I wonder if people are just on like a download spree and then they play the games later. It's not a bad strategy. The light from the blinds is slowly creeping up my shirt. I need to close the blinds. There we go. Okay, while we're waiting, I'll just give an overview of the game for anyone who's watching. Oh, now the turn's ready. Okay, that will have to wait just a minute. Oh, I forgot about the Scion, dang it. Okay, okay. Oh, I think I got it. If I just shoot your Nexus, I... Oh no! I can't, your guy's in the way. to retreat. Ooh. Rats. Okay, I'm worried because basically anywhere I go, I think he's gonna... can win this turn because both of his units 
Yeah, my minion's blocking him. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this, and then I'll give that explanation of the game. So we've got a map here with two bases, and each base starts with 12 health. The goal of the game is to kill the enemy's base. This map makes it kind of confusing, but I'm the robots, and I have the robot-looking base, and I'm playing against Matt, who is on the stream, and he is the, the critters, and they have this alien-looking base thing. Um, so, yeah. So I've got my three guys here. A daemon, whose special ability is to summon minions. An exterminator, who's uh, just a kind of a tank, and he's got a cool reflect ability. So this takes a while to recharge, but he will... If you shoot him, he'll just be able to reflect the projectile right back one time. Maximum of one time every two turns. Or every three turns. The Overwatch is uh, kind of a sniper character. He's got this ready attack that's pretty cool. Um, and the Buster Shot destroys cover. That's kind of useful. My minion here is kind of just doing his thing. Uh, I had a antivirus who has deployed all these orange cones. Um, but his Scion can just go through the orange cones. So this Hyper Tunnel special effect means that he can just go straight through uh, cover. The Scion also has kind of a pretty good blast here, so... Um, so that's what's going down. I'm just waiting for Matt to take his turn, and then we will probably end the game pretty quick here, because he only has three health, I only have four health with my Nexus. So this is actually kind of a close game. Haven't got any comments in the chat for a while. I think our busiest people all signed off. That's okay. If anyone has questions or anything to ask, feel free to uh, ask me anything. We're showing about 140 viewers. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I've heard different numbers from different people. Hey, Spages, still there. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for sticking with us. Link is in the chat if you're interested in joining our Discord, where we frequently discuss uh, development of the game and other games. We have a few different things kind of in the works. Is there an API that I can write my own AI against? Well, <laughs> that would be cool. That would be very cool. I think it was Nanostorm who suggested that we should do some kind of a machine learning AI versus AI to see what the ultimate Bernard Star showdown would look like. I think that would be sweet. I don't know how to do that, though. It would be cool because it's a multiplayer game. It would be cool, like... Theoretically, you could just mock the client API, and you'd have to play online games. But, uh, you could, like, use Wireshark to sniff the traffic and fill in your own turns to guess the turn format. We're probably not going to publish the code that actually generates the, the network format. A machine learning AI would help with balancing. Yes, it definitely would. Definitely would. I imagine it would expose any quirks, too, with, like, if there's one character who can just do, like, a certain combination of moves and instantly win the game, then uh, that would expose that really quick. So if you click, hang on one second. Um, if you click About in the main menu and you go to How to Play, there is a pretty gnarly but very thorough description of how to play the game. This should actually show up the first time you play as well, but uh, 
I can't see that because it's not the first time I've Spages. Oh, I missed a chat message. You guys need more serious marketing. That I can tell for sure. Uh, talk more about that, Spages. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, what do I got here? Okay, I think this is game. Booyah! I'd try to find a publisher. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. I think... I don't know anything about publishers. I think it'd be an interesting proposition to consider. Uh... Yeah. I'll think about it. Could be the difference between selling 500 copies versus 50,000 copies. You may be right about that. I've always I've always wanted Devolver Digital to publish one of my games. I like uh, I like pretty much all Devolver Digital games. So if you're listening, hint hint. Okay, well good game, Matt. You still there? I think you might be AFK. Sorry, my mic was muted. Oh. My bad. Oh, you're good. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for playing. Uh, good luck with the rest of the stream, but I'll uh, I'll sign off here. Cool. Yeah, I think we're at. Did we play three games? You won two, and I won one. So mm -hmm. it was really just that one turn where you uh, overextended a little bit that gave me gave me the ability to come back. Yeah, it's crazy how really how tight the games were, just because it felt like every single one of them. If uh, on one of the turns, if either of us had slipped up. Yeah. The game is immediately over. Well, one thing that we want to always have in the game is the feeling that no matter how bad it's going, uh, one really good turn can turn around the entire thing. You know, like mm -hmm. in one of our games, you had one health on the base, and then you just had a couple of like really awesome turns and destroyed me. Uh, so. Right. Because I think, especially with that last one, I think that if you hadn't killed absolutely every single one of those units i think i have enough to like hold on right but right yeah, yeah those chain kills chain kills will get you yeah very very rough um but yeah good games i uh definitely love to see how this uh keeps going cool yeah we'll, we'll love keep the you game. updated if you you know if you stick around in the discord that's where we have pretty much everything we do goes in there so Sounds good. You uh, you take care. Cool. Thanks for playing, Matt. See ya. See ya. Spages. I self-published my last game that I worked two and a half years ago, two two and a half years on, and it only sold twenty five hundred copies. So it's a risk. Hmm. That's true. That's true. We did okay with our last game, uh, Card Crusade made about 10,000 in revenue, so I guess that is about 2,500 copies as well, actually. But that was just kind of a hobby project, so it wasn't necessarily our livelihood or anything like that. But no, you're right. I think um, marketing is really one of the most important things that you can do in game development. It's just such a black art to most of us, such a such dark magic. Oh, this is a fun bug. The spaceship is not animated. It's just static. The fire is just not moving. That's funny. I know exactly how to fix that. So I'm playing against a medium AI here. Doesn't look like we'll have any takers for multiplayer games for the rest of the stream. That's okay. If anyone wants to join, then just let me know. We can play a game. I'll be on for another 20 to 30 minutes. We've got a pretty standard loadout here. I've got the sniper, 
Bazooka, Bouncer, and Commando. The AI has the Water Woman, Bazooka Sniper, and the Medic. Medic is interesting. The Sketchy Syringe, I think, is underrated. It's pretty good. It knocks enemies unconscious, which is very deadly. is kind of beating me. It's embarrassing. So I killed him, I get another turn, and I'm going straight for the Nexus. Who do I want to stun? So I can make my way to either of these two characters and do the knockout punch, which will stun them and push them back one. I think if I do this guy, it will do an additional damage because I push him into something. So, normally it would do one damage, I think it will do two damage. Boom! Okay, yeah, that was, that was right. Cool. Snoozing bazooka men. That's all there is to it. Okay, sweet. So this is awesome. I'll explain this moment. I've got the commando. He does his movement. Then he can take a turn. Uh, his machete does three damage, which is a really... Uh, kind of a critical amount of damage because everyone has five health. And so if you can do three damage then you can kill someone in two turns. If you only have two damage, then you have to take a third turn in order to kill them. So I'm going to use my machete against this guy who has three health, and this fighter here has two health. So I can kill both of them, because when I kill them, I get an extra turn. So I'm gonna kill him. Kill her, actually, and that's a girl. Kill her. Kill this guy. <laughs> okay, this is pretty epic. Win the game! Boom! I'm good when it's against AI, that's... At least I got that. Let's see, do I get any takers? Nobody. That's okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let me play a game against myself here. Talk through all the different possibilities. I think... I want to demonstrate better the um, oil and the acid abilities. We saw a little bit of water in some of my games against Matt. He used water really effectively. Uh, so the oil abilities are from the firewall and the auto mechanic. I like the daemon and the exterminator just generally, so I'll add them as well. And uh, let me demonstrate some of the oil abilities. So we've got the firewall is the main oil guy, but auto mechanic can do it as well. If I go here with the auto mechanic and use my oil well ability, then I can lay some oil down. Let's do it, let's do it here. And then I'll go here with the firewall. So I've just laid down some oil. This doesn't do any damage unless it's been lit on fire. So we will we will watch that happen momentarily. I want to get the enemy in oil, though, before I light it. When I light something on fire, which I can do with uh, just shooting it, it won't damage... Here, I'll just go ahead and do this. It won't damage any of my units who are on oil because it's my fire. But if someone else were to shoot the oil, even though it's my oil, it would still damage me because it's their fire. See how my guy didn't take any damage here? He's uh, just impervious. Cool, so that's a little demonstration of, of uh, oil. The critters have the ability to do uh, acid, which is pretty sweet. Hmm. I like the grump and the scion. Those guys are powerful. Let's 
So here are my two acid guys. I've got the acid junkie. He has two, he doesn't trail acid like the blobber, so when I, if I move the blobber around, the blobber trails acid everywhere they go. Uh, and I can even rain down acid. Acid only lasts one turn, so this is actually not really doing anything, but if there were any enemies around and they tried to walk through the acid, then they would be, they would be hurting. Um, okay, so the acid doesn't trail, or sorry, the acid junkie doesn't trail acid, but he can do an acid punch, which will, that was useless because it was against cover, but if it were against a person, it would have left a little puddle of acid underneath them. He's also got the acid dash move that I can't do now because I just used my turn, but uh, it dashes forward and trails acid. It's that super cool Scion move he went through the cover. That's his Scion special ability. Let's see, what should we do next? Let's demonstrate a chain kill. I think I can pull that off right now. So my the enemies, three units are very close together, which is a mistake, because I can do some sweet kills. If I go here, so I've got the exterminator, he's out of moves. The auto mechanic has a move, which you can see by this little silver indicator. He can use the machete against the grump and kill it. Notice that the hit points are flashing. So I'll go ahead and kill this guy. And then I can take another turn. So I'm going for the acid junkie. And I don't have any other guys over there now, so that might not end well. I'm gonna go ahead and end that turn. So the Scion is really powerful because he can basically, if there's enough cover on the map, he can theoretically move across the entire map in one turn. Uh, there has to be a lot of cover for that to work, but the way it happens is he has, uh, I guess he probably couldn't. There is a limit. He has five movement, but he can move through cover, and moving through cover does not count as movement. So notice this thing right here. I'm going six squares because I just freely go through the cover without, without it taking any movement. Let's see. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. I'm gonna do my acid punch. Notice that there's a little bit of acid there now. And I think the acid junkie is gonna die next turn, unless I... Nope, there's nothing I can do. Because the blobber's unarmed attack is uh, melee only, and I'm, I'm waiting for the cooldown on acid rain. I'm also going to move this guy because he's a little too close for my liking. If I had kept him up there, then next turn when the exterminator goes, he could kill my acid junkie and then do some serious damage against the scion. But now he has to go all the way down to the blobber, which will entail walking through acid uh, in order to do any damage there. He might be able to go through a teleporter and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because he has five movement, so he could probably still attack the Scion, actually. I should have moved him in a better place, but that's okay. Okay, let's try this. Okay, now I'm going to show... I don't know what's going to happen here. So normally when there's oil on the ground and the and the monsters come and lay acid, it will it will overtake all of the oil. Turn it all into acid. 
I guess the oil doesn't have the reverse effect. That's probably good. Now I'm going to go shoot this oil and hurt the blobber. So I did two damage there. And I think that I can kill the blobber if I shoot him, and then I have to lay down another minion. Oh, I can't. I can only do one action per turn. Alright, my mistake. So the fire should last one more turn, and if I were to move through it, it would kill me. But I can't, because he's blocking the way anyway. I'm going to go ahead and try some Acid Rain here. But the Scion is stuck. <laughs> nice. Hey, how come you aren't wearing a Poliwag shirt? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I need to wear that more. More advertising. No fire damage for your unit for standing there. Uh, let me think. No, so that is... Similar to Acid, you only take damage when you move in and out of a hazard, rather than when you just stay on it. But my Scion here is stuck, so if I move any direction, then uh, I have to go through- I'm bottlenecked right here, so I have to die. I think I'm just gonna wait there then, and make them actually go through the exercise of killing me. Nah, it's a moot point, because they'll just get an extra turn if they kill him, so it doesn't really benefit me. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and do the... Acid Dash. Oh. I guess I thought that the Acid Dash would be like the Commando's Charge and hurt, hurt him, but I was wrong about that. Might as well go ahead and do this. Okay, that's my turn. use my flamethrower against that guy. The fire will displace the acid, but it doesn't... Ooh, I'm getting damaged. Unless I go through this. But it doesn't spread through the acid. The, the acid is not flammable. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this dude. By dude, I mean the base. Okay, a couple interesting moves here. So that only does two damage. If I were to grump it up right here, oh, this is pretty cool. So I can do a sequence here. Boom, and then. Boom! So the Grump's Stomp is super powerful. I didn't notice this until playing that game against Matt, where he did it against me. But if you, uh, if, if you're attacking, if, if the enemies are grouped in a certain way and you attack them, and you kill even just one of them, then you can just attack over and over and over until you kill all of them. It's pretty incredible. Okay, I think I'm done with my turn here. Just for good measure, let's just stomp on that. Are you playing against yourself? Yes, yes I am, I have no friends. I'm playing by myself. 
No, it's okay. I, uh... I'm only gonna be streaming for a couple more minutes, so... Alright, let's go ahead and end this. Put these poor men out of their misery. Not really men, I guess. Otherwise, I'd join a game against you. Well, you're too late! No. That's okay. I'm not hurt. I'm just disappointed. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's see. What can I do here? Kaboom! Even if the Grump Stomp isn't always that good, or Smash, not Stomp, I just think it's so satisfying. I'd do one fire damage for staying in a tile on fire, just for logical reasons. Yeah, I agree that makes sense. I, I think, like I mentioned earlier when I was talking with Kip, uh, even tiny changes in these kind of games, you really have to think through all possible unintended side effects. Because things can go differently than you think. That's what Into the Breach does. It only lasts one turn, though. Well, so, Jenny's talking about, like, uh, if I light you on fire at the beginning of your next turn, you should have more fire damage just for staying there. I guess I can see how that's kind of OP, though. Okay, check this. Wait. This might not do anything. I don't think you can fire damage the Nexus. Yep, okay. Alright, I thought that was going to be a cool moment. It was not. But it only lasts one Thurb. Well, I don't know what a Thurb is, Jan. Just joking. Uh, yeah, well, let's talk about this later. I'm not exactly sure that we're on the same page. Should I kill him or should I just... Yeah, let's kill him. Let's kill him. Onion Man. Okay, let's, let's look at the bigger picture. Let's get that spaceship out of the way. Isn't that a nice background? Okay. Back to reality. Making some moves towards the Nexus. Anyways, I just don't want to do fire damage on both your turn and your opponent's turn. Yeah, I, I get that. That is pretty OP. Like, if you do damage on your turn, and then it's their turn, and, like, more damage. If we did that, we would definitely have to nerf the amount of damage that it does. Uh, because, because pretty much every time it double up. So we'd have to cut it in half. But, uh, no, I, I get it. All right, I'm just gonna end this turn and then go kill the Nexus, and we're gonna call it good. Kablamo! Player one wins! Cool, well, thank you everybody for joining. Thanks everyone who there may be a few of you who stuck around the entire two hours. That's uh, that's quite the marathon. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, Spages. One more tip. Make an optional software cursor in your stream. The cursor is invisible. Oh, really? That's weird. I had no idea. We have to make a software cursor? I guess that makes sense because... Yeah. Huh. Didn't even think about that. Let me write that down. Software cursor 
makes it visible on Twitch. It was fun, GG, nice stream. Thank you, thank you for all the kind words. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, we had a nice chat here. I, I've got a lot of feedback, a lot of things to think about. And uh, yeah, I'm probably not planning to do this again uh, during the festival, but at some point in the future, I'm more likely to do a stream just on our Discord. So if you want to join our Discord, I'll put the link, I'll spam the link in here one more time. And uh, you can keep up with development on the game. You can see what we're up to. Me and Jan, who is Jan PHB in the chat, are the main developers. Um, we had our artist and sound sound guy earlier, Muchkin Music and Pinus Alba, AKA Vertiberto. Uh, we have another artist who wasn't able to join us today, Norma, and uh, or Norma 2D, that is. And yeah, that's it. Hope to hope to play against you soon. Thanks.